वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 कोर्स गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 ग्रुप्स आर अवेलेबल वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द थ्योरेटिकल पार्ट मींस द वर्क ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 ग्रुप डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लिस्ट डायनेमिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लिस्ट एंड मेल इनेबल सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप now in this class i'm going to show you the steps how we can use these group in our day to day activity so let's move ourselves to understand about the concept of uh, this group and after that we'll show you the step to configure microsoft 365 group and distribution list so let me help you to understand about the concept of this group and after that we'll proceed for the practical but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time so please do subscribe because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step so we are trying to understand about ms 365 right microsoft 365 groups this is our agenda total four different types of groups are available and in this class i am going to uh guide you i'm going to show you the steps to create microsoft 365 group the practical usage of microsoft 365 group and the usage of distribution list right the usage of distribution list okay so for this particular task what you need to do you need to create few users like i'm going to create user like AWS is a type of user GCP is a user and maybe Tata is a type of user and Telnet multiple users we created using Microsoft 365 admin center and our responsibility to add these users to the group to identify to understand about the work of uh, uh, Microsoft 365 and distribution list group let me open the portal microsoft 365 portal that i can help you to implement the uh, groups and uh, also we try to understand about the means practical usage of these groups we need to open our microsoft 365 portal right we just need to open o365 and uh, let me check how many users are available because according to the number of users we are able to create and we are able to add these users to our uh, 365 group and dl and number of users are available but unfortunately most of users are related to the on premises means we synchronize these users from on premises ad to azure active directory so that's why i'm going to remove these users because i wanted to create user from scratch that you can understand properly about the concept of uh, these microsoft 365 groups so that's why i'm going to give you the complete information from uh, scratch right so we deleted entire users so i'm going to create new users and if you want to use these user in the uh, you want to add these users to the group so user must need to contain their own licenses it is in progress we should need we need to wait for a few more minute and after that we'll proceed for proceed to create new user account i deleted the existing users that i can show you the entire steps how we can manage the microsoft 365 groups so let me add few users like uh, i wanted to add user with name of aws display name and uh, login username is also aws i wanted to choose my own password right and uh, it's mandatory you must need to provide the license because if your user if your 365 user contain their own license then definitely you are able to uh, add these users to the group so microsoft 365 e5 license that i have total remaining uh, license is 22 i'm going to assign one license to aws user i don't want to make it member of any existing role 
okay one user let me create two to three different users need to create like second user i wanted to create with name of tata and uh, the login name is also tata right next mandatory to provide license next next and finish one more user i wanted to add because uh, if you want to create a group so definitely you should add at least three to four different users to understand about the actual usage of uh, groups fine so aws tata and telnet three different user uh, are almost ready to use and i'm going to use these users to put it into the microsoft 365 group aws tata and telnet back to the admin center and in the admin center you need to open your exchange admin center because in previous class we discussed about the entire microsoft 365 groups are available in exchange admin center this is the panel of uh, exchange admin center and i'm going to show you the practical of two important group one is microsoft 365 group and another is distribution list as we discussed in previous class we just need to click on groups and it will give us option where we can create a group for your as per your requirement so i'm going to click on add a group or you can directly click on microsoft 365 distribution dynamic distribution and mail enable security so total four different types of groups are available and our responsibility to create a microsoft 365 group and distribution list so i'm going to create first add yes i wanted to create a microsoft 365 group next so what are the activity you can perform if you proceed and create the microsoft 365 group so allow teams to collaborate by giving them a group email and shared workspace for uh, conversation and uh, files and calendar in outlook right so in this group we are able to add multiple user account and the entire users account are able to distribute or make a conversation to each other and they are able to share the calendar uh, uh, calendar with the entire uh, uh, users which are available in this particular group so let me create a group with name of l and d learning and development department next how many honors are any honor you want to assign for this particular group so we just need to click here as per the name suggest honor able to perform in Tata. So I'm just going to add my root account as a owner. This account is responsible to make any changes with this particular group. Next, another important point where we can add the members. So we have already created multiple user, AWS user and Tata user. I wanted to add two employee for LND department. One is AWS at the rate teach me cloud.net and another is Tata at the rate teach me cloud.net. Click add next and uh, you can decide the name so definitely i wanted to proceed with name of uh, l and d right learning and development so okay so l and d at teachmecloud.net so this is the group that you are trying to create right and uh, how you can use it we have a two different option when you can proceed with the public and another you can use as a private so yeah definitely i wanted to use with as a public create a team for this uh, group i don't want to create we just need to proceed with that and click create group we successfully created a group of microsoft 365 and in this particular group we added two different user one is aws and another is tata user right so now i'm going to log in our tata user or aws user in different wizard and try to understand about how we can share the calendar with, e with each other and how we can establish the conversation and close it our group is ready to use the group that we created with name of lnd and the email address for this particular group is lnd at teachmecloud.net and how many members we added we added two different member one is tata and another is aws so let me open incognito wizard office.com and uh, let me log in with the help of any user like i wanted to log in with the help of aws at uh, teachmecloud.net because the aws teachmecloud.net is the mail id here yeah? it's a mail id of our member that we added i 
I don't want to configure any kind of multi-factor authentication because it will take time. So that's why I'm going to skip it and log in the wizard of our AWS at teachmecloud.net, right? And we have already assigned the license. So definitely you are able to use, you are able to access the entire services of Microsoft 365. We assign the e, uh, E5 license, I think. So according to the features which are available in E5 license, you are able to find with AWS account. One more point just wanted to add here. Um, let me open another wizard uh, of uh, incognito. I'm just going to open another uh, Google Chrome and incognito wizard. And uh, let me open office.com. And this time, let me log in with the help of Tata user, right? Because in in our Microsoft 365 group, we added two different users. One is the one is a uh, AWS, and another is Tata, right? So Tata at uh, teachmecloud.net. Provide license and log in it. So both the users are available. Yes, both the users are available in our, uh, what we can say that, uh, Microsoft 365 group. So we are able to open, we are able to log in our both the users and it's our responsibility. We should check how we can manage the calendar, how we can share the calendar with each other. And make sure you should know about the owner of this particular group. So I think we assign uh, our root account as a owner of our Microsoft 365 group. We have already assigned the license, so maybe it will take time. Yeah, we are able to find the entire applications which are available in, according to the license. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the uh, procedure or step to use the Microsoft 365 group in our day to day activity. So for this particular task, I need to create one calendar and the same calendar I'm going to share with the another members that uh, that are available in our Microsoft 365 group, right? We successfully log in both the users, both the, the user are part of Microsoft 365 group. So this is Tata at the teachmecloud.net and uh, the another user that we created with name of AWS at the teachmecloud.net. So in this case, whenever we create any kind of calendar and uh, they are able to share with each other because you added these users into the particular group. So by using this Microsoft 365 group, we are able to distribute the calendar and outlook with each other. They are able to make a conversation between each other. So guys, this is all about uh, the Microsoft 365 group. And let me show you the steps of uh, how we can configure DL. So for distribution list, again, back to the Microsoft 365 uh, Exchange Admin Center. Under the Exchange Admin Center, we just need to click on DL distribution list. And let me create one DL click add this time create I wanted to create distribution next type the name like I wanted to create a distribution list with the name of HR next honor it's mandatory to assign at least one honor so I wanted to use my root account as your honor click next this is the member and how many members you wanted to add again I wanted to add uh, uh, AWS Tata and talent three different users I wanted to add in this particular distribution list group click add next and uh, type the email id so yes i wanted to create an email id with name of hr at the teachmecloud.net and multiple options are available like open close honor approval right it's up to you leaving the group open close and uh, uh, these three different five, five different options are available which is categorized in joining the group and leaving the group actually the meaning of open close and honor approval if anyone want to be a part of this particular uh, group so automatically he can apply directly by self close group in the sense without uh, the permission of our owner without the permission of this particular dl owner no one can be a part of this group honor approval if anyone want to be a part need to request with the honor and honor must be approved uh, approved to the user that uh, then he or she able to be a part of HR at the teachmecloud.net, right? So I'm just going to proceed. I don't want to make any changes. The group that I'm trying to create, which is open. Once our group is ready to use, I'm going to show you the practical uses, means how we can use it. We created a group. The group name is HR at the teachmecloud.net, right? Let me click on the group icon it will show you the number of groups that we have already created 
it's a hr at the rate teach me cloud dot net as we ne- uh, as we discussed before with the help of uh, distribution list we are able to send single email on this particular email id and the number of members that you added they all are able to access same email same text mail are attached on the entire members mailboxes so let me show you the practical this is my root account and uh, from root account i wanted to send one email uh, to hr at the rates uh, uh, teachmecloud.net so hr at teachmecloud.net this is our uh, you can see that this is our uh, dl distribution list test mail type the name this is test mail for dl okay this is test mail for dl that's it and send it now we successfully sent the email and we shared the mail sent the email to uh the distribution list so i wanted to check with tata user and aws user because the tata and uh, aws both the part of our distribution list so definitely as per the name suggest of distribution list both the user will get a same email because the email address you share to the directly group so yes we are able to find teach me cloud sended a email this is the the subject of email is a test mail and this is test mail for dl we are able to get as it is let me check with the another account that we open which is aws account so this is aws account let me open outlook and the, in the outlook in inbox yes we are able to find one test mail this is test mail for dl so it means that our distribution list work just like as a uh, uh, we can use it for the broadcasting if anyone want to send the email to hr at the rate teachmecloud.net so the entire members that you added in this particular dl they are able to access same email they are able to get the same email address so guys this is all about yes this is all about uh, the practical information about uh, uh, distribution list and the another part is related to the uh microsoft 365 group i hope you guys are able to understand about the concept if you have any question if you have any doubt please let me know thank you guys and do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys we'll connect soon in another session bye bye